Hello guys, welcome to yet another tutorial series. What we'll be looking at today is how to build a mini weather station, which is capable of reading the temperature and humidity. So all we'll be needing for this tutorial are basically theory components. One is the Arduino Nano, one is OLED screen, for this is I2C. Also use the SPI, but in this case we are using the I2C, which comprises of two pins. This is your DHT sensor. This is DHT 11. Though you might be having the one that is having three legs. One will be the signal, one will be ground, and one will be VCC. In this case, it's the same thing here, just as in this leg here. Second leg here is not connected. Let me give you review of it in the int you see there is no connection so this is ground this is your, your voltage supply which is vcc and this is the signal pin we should be going to your digital logic tool on this adreno nano so guys let's do the connection right away like i said what we'll do first and foremost is connect the VCC and the ground of each of these terminals to the VCC and ground here. So right now, let's take the ground. This is the ground. Yeah. Okay. Now um, VCC plus five volts. You can also use a three point three volts. It's a choice. Changes to red, this to black. So the next one be the SDA, which is this, but let's connect the SC first. So the SCL is meant to go to uh, A5, which is analog P5. Let's just do that. Give this a different color. Let's connect the SDA to analog pin 4. This is another color. No. No, I should just do it. So for this, this is ground. Let's connect this straight to ground. 
this is VCC. Let's connect this straight to VCC. Give you the red. And this is a black. Okay, so this is the signal which is meant to go to digital pin 2. So let's connect it to pin 2. Let's just do it. So Basically, this is all the connection you need. So right now, what we need to do is make the connection for real, then upload our code. So at this point, you just need to pause the video and do your own connection, your breadboard or on your variable board, as the case may be, if you're going for a permanent soldering. So right now, we're just going to uploading the code. So this is the code we'll be uploading. Basically, there are a few libraries you need to add right here so for this you need to add the other fruit gfx you need to add the other fruit sh1106 at the same time the other fruit sensor library in order for it to read the sensor that we are attaching to this device so basically that is it then something you have to note that note for is is the width of the screen or the display width of the screen, which is 128 by 64, is correct. You also have to also know the reset order. Here is minus one. So, so guys, what we need to do right now is just go into the uploading of this, of this code. So, before you do that, you have to check for the board. The board here is Arduino Nano, and the processor here is Atmeg 328, which is correct. Then, our COM port. 9. In your case, it might be different. And it will always be different depending. So you just have to select it. Then after that, you can do the code upload. First of all, you can verify to see if there's, there are any errors in the code. So you just upload right now. Our code is uploading, as you can see. So once the code is fully uploaded, our screen should come up showing the current time and the correct temperature and humidity which is the aim of this project so project, project is fully uploaded as you can see the screen has come up so right now it's showing 33.30 as the temperature while the humidity is 71 so i'm just going to try and blow hot hair using my blower see if the temperature is going to change so right now let's practicalize that so guys this is my dryer which i use for shrinking my tubes or the battery packs it works perfectly so right now Let's see if it's going to return gradually. Usually, the code is meant to reset every 30 seconds. So, let's watch it if it's going to drop after a while. As you can see, it's dropping. Going down, we zoom in a bit so you can see properly. Now the temperature is fast going down. So, guys, as you can see, it's dropping. So, this is basically how you can do this. All you need are these three basic components do the wiring correctly, 
on this code you're going to be having it in the description below so you don't have to worry and every library will also be in the description below so you just need to download them and upload them and it will work perfectly thanks for watching if you like this video please share subscribe and give a thumbs up also hit the bell icon so that you get more videos when i do my uploads thank you for watching